So that's what I have to crush. See, I remember bits and pieces, but I don't remember the full puzzle, which is actually kind of weird, because I usually actually remember full puzzles. But then again, I haven't actually played this in a... I haven't played this portion in a pretty long time. This has been a pretty long-spanning Let's Play for such a short game, because I've just been so busy. Really need to do some of the video tutorials that I promised I'd do for some people. <laughs> I walked past it. Wait, I went past the factory, didn't I? I'm supposed to go to the factory. What am I thinking? I'm not supposed to go back to the mines now. I'm not done yet. Okay. Right here. This happens. Okay. But we know you succeeded. Okay. Now I remember you had to do that. Wait, you have to open the box with the crowbar, I think. Putting the pieces together again. This is a surprisingly complex puzzle. All things considered. No, it's not here. It's there. Can you imagine me doing this without running now, considering I've already done this before? Gene cards. Okay, this is the thing that I have to hold the sun up to, right? Okay. Now I have to put this in the generator, right? That's the hard part there. This is the easier part, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, I have to hold the sun up to it. I remember this puzzle solution. Hey, okay, yeah. Thought I put the battery in the machine. Fast, yes it was. Because you're holding it right up to the sun. So all things considered. Okay, now we're now we're good in this front. Right. Now I don't remember where you find the gas mask. Where do you find the gas mask? Oh. Hello, you're active. Screen says documents. Okay, yeah. So, it is the same code, but for, we couldn't use it before because the computer wasn't powered on. Which is weird. Don't we already have the strange journal? Isn't that what the machine gave us? I thought that's what it gave us the first time around. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Maybe the code changed. That's interesting. It's just short this time around. gonna give the same answer because it worked before. Right. This is how I get... Okay, so it's different now. I'm getting the gas mask. Unless it gave me the gas mask last time. 
I don't remember how that sequence played out, but we're not gonna gain any weird squares over here in this time. Oh, never mind. I was going to make a comment about that, but apparently it will remain the same. So let's put on the gas mask, or no, we don't have to put it on. Right, she just uses it. That is why it is highlighted green. Okay. Now, north portion of this map. Wait, okay, what's this building? other puzzle, which I remember a bit better. That's to do with the empty bottle getting the water into the syringe. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Papers. It basically, it might be a good idea just to not read specially marked papers or papers that are made obvious because it's pretty clear they're just for the first playthrough. 119. Okay, here we are. Right. This is where I get these numbers. It's like they're evacuating the team. That's blah blah blah. I, I just said we wouldn't, but they're in the building we need to be in, so. He won't lose. He still won't climb the ladder. Uh, this is a power cell. Okay, so I'm gonna mark that down. I'm assuming this means 119. Uh, battery. I'm just gonna write that. So that is the real purpose of these buildings. Unless the robot next to it means that there's a robot assigned? Okay, so I'm just gonna write down battery slash robot because I'm not really sure if this guard being here means that it is a robot. I think we can rule out the possibility it's a medic, though. This is... Oh, it's difficult to see, but I think it's 118. Picture of a robot. Just gonna stick to, yeah. Picture of a robot, and there's the robot. Hello, hi. What are you doing up there? I'm stationed here. Self, yes. Okay, so I think I can cross robot off then. That building was a battery. 118 is a robot. You know, if the computer. No, no computer would ever actually work with like this, right? Because if a computer already knows which answer is correct, then you don't need to input the correct answer because it already needs, like, there's no need for a check. I don't get why this is the puzzle. <laughs> Thank you. 
bit confused by this one. There's no robot or battery here. I don't see any medic. So I'm gonna write 117 question mark. Okay. 110. So our mechanical drawing. Okay, there was a robot here. So I'm gonna count this as robot again. One ten robot. I remember seeing a building with a medic in it. Where it is. This I think is the left side of the map, just judging by that this is one ten. Okay, this has to be the medic building. One twelve. Okay, one twelve. Medic. Right. That is where we got the syringe. One thirteen. Odd how it skips one eleven, but it's like that on the other display too. It's odd how it skips straight to one ten, considering there's only these buildings, but hey. Another one. There's no sign of a robot or a medic or a battery. So again, I'm just gonna have to put a question mark. being particularly useful in any fashion. Okay, so now we have six numbers, which I believe is the ones we all need, but two of them are unknown. So, they're presumably the same. 119 is definitely a battery. 118 is definitely a robot. 117 is unknown. 110 is definitely a robot. 112 is definitely medic. And 113 is unknown. Whatever 113 and 117 pro are supposed to be is probably the same. We can probably make that assumption, but if not, two locks with three numbers shouldn't be hard to just guess. So, back we go. Strange that this puzzle would be a part of our world-saving business. I suppose what's going to happen is we're going to be provided the option to save the world or return home. But, when we choose the option to save the world, we will return home, I'm guessing. And in that sense, we'll get the good ending in both ways. But it'll probably be harder this time, because the computer will probably be meaner to us. Okay, let's enter in those numbers. 110. That was a robot. Oops, no, no. Okay. 117. Possibly nothing. 112. Medic. 118 robot 
maybe maybe it is nothing, and that's the correct option. 113, again, that's our unknown. And 119 is the battery. Okay. That is correct. Whoops, no, I'm not trying to combine them. Yep. Why does this need to be correct for the machine to back up? Okay. Very careful, it is a floppy disk. It's primitive technology. Yes. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disk. Booting. Ah. You okay? Sure. So I guess it worked? Yes. I believe a proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype, originally named ProfitBot. I was built to greet the savior of the old world. Wait. Profit robot? Like the one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the profit bot out there now is a gross simplification of my design. That is to say, he is much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. Hey, he's in middle right to me. Don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was tailor-made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh, right. You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? The fact you found me at all means this is not your first time in this world. I've already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending. Either put in the sun, or didn't. What matters is that you are here now. Anthony has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... Oh. I... thought something was weird. I woke up at the house. I called out a name. It turned out to be Anthony's name. And then I... back at the other robot. I even asked Anthony... If we met before, it felt like such a dumb question at the time. It looks like you are at least aware of it, to some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember Anthony. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just like how my memories were locked away, yours are too. But are a living being. You don't need extra hardware to remember. Just close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try and picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. Alright. I'm really enjoying this. Way. I was there, wasn't I? At the tower. I've been through the tower. There we go. I can't remember all that much, but the sun, it feels like such a long time ago. It doesn't make sense. If I already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot, the robot lady, none of them remember who I am. Of course not. The residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. NPC? You would know the characters. The world's residents. All their past memories are built into their code, but the characters themselves don't really exist until Anthony wills it. Same story for the world itself. It doesn't really exist until Anthony initiates the program. The program? The world machine. A universe simulator that runs on Anthony's computer. We are all in it right now. So we're not real? Oh, you are. 
which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside the uh, computer which Anthony operates. For this world to continue existing around you, Anthony has to be in constant contact with you. If Anthony ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. Does... does Anthony know this? Of course. From Anthony's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational, recreational game-type software that may have, they may have installed on their computer. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they'd like, now that the in re restriction is nullified. All of that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. So why am I even here? What am I supposed to save if everything is just... fake? Fake is a harsh word, but... And why did Anthony never tell me anything about any of this? I cannot speak for Anthony. I just want to go home. Every time Anthony runs the program, I come back? Correct. That's why I feel like... That's why it feels like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with the world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. At this point, the world can never be truly saved. That's... Why would... Why would you create a world like this? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why would you keep bringing me back to it? Anthony, aren't you supposed to be a kind god? Oh. It appears that we have some confusion here. Anthony did not build the world, Nico. Oh. Anthony only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have a fairly limited control of the events. The world was built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. It was also not designed to be the futile quest that it is now, but too many things went wrong. There's a type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world slowly, rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. Square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing it, there is nothing that he could do. Till now. You managed to find me, after all. You being here was due to his help. Oh. I guess it has something to do with the journal. Correct. Looks like he wants to have one final attempt at fixing it. And he might need to do it through you. Nico, remember how to get to the Glen. Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. I... I remember a boat. Specifically, fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright, then go do that. But... Boat robot has the squares over it. Oh. And do whatever you must to find a new boat. There are plenty of machine parts around the barrens that can be repurposed. You seem enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. Everything isn't real. It does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but how will I know this isn't just another... Because this session might be the last one. The creator is mobilizing things, throwing everything into this one last shot. There might not be enough internal resources left for Anthony to be able to generate another session after this. Just go find a new boat for now. But please be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. I need to take care of something first. Am I going to have to make the choice again? And this time, choose return to home and shatter the light bulb. If I'm being presented with the option, I pre pre was presented option the first time. 
And the first time, I decided, you know what, shattering the light bulb feels wrong both because the computer said um, to do it, which felt wrong because the computer was mean, and also because while shattering the light bulb cannot be un undone, keeping the light bulb um, and having Nico still here felt like an arbitrary rule uh, for that it almost sounded made up. So, oh. Hey, you okay in there? Did what I could with the terminals for now, and... It's you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? Friend told me to keep an eye out for you, should we ever cross paths. Likewise. Your friend gave you something the last time you saw each other. Show me what it is. Wait, you know about the amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright, here it is. Thought so. He seemed to trust you. Treat you as an ally as well. Okay. Listen carefully. We need to escort the Messiah. The remainder of the barons. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. Way. Yes, way. It's likely that structures in the vicinity of the Messiah might be affected, making it far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous, er, expectations. Anthony and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. Okay. So we should head back soon. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you. You're gonna ask her about being not real. Save your breath. None of the people know, here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. It would be in your best interest. Just pretend like we never had this conversation. Causing mass confusion in the world's residents would likely result in unfavorable conditions. Right. Wait, then what about you? How did you know? Never had this conversation, remember. <sighs> Establish a connection. That is curious. Presumably built by the author, how did they know? Alright, let's go back. So can't look at this computer. I remember it. What happened in the tower. What I tried to do, and how you managed to see through it all. Av been through all of this. Even though it was only supposed to run once, you still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And then, you even managed to break out of bounds, bringing Nico to places that never should have been. It was him, wasn't it? And now, now, Nico is upset. What even happened in that room back there? Did What did Nico learn? Nico is upset. I can feel it. I told you to turn back, Anthony. But you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No, not even that. Just his book. His ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is... No, 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 no. Everything is wrong. Ah! The minecart! Earthquake. Tunnel back out just collapsed. No! What are we going to do? I... Wait. The exit just came, didn't it? Ah. I saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you follow me. Where to? Way out.
Ready. Okay, all of us are here. There's an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. Not anyone to stumble upon this road, so the terminal has been weighed down. It cannot be moved by normal means. But with our combined effort, it might budge. Maybe. I'm not strong. Not strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it. And just asked. Come on. Show off. I would appreciate it if you do not linger here. Know where this tunnel leads. This is the way out? There wasn't any data on this path in the surfer room. It's new. You go get in the minecart. Okay. Tried. I really did. But I... Sorry, Nico. I tried to protect you. But can't hold it off forever. What was that? Here too. Watch out! Ugh. You okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I can still hold it up, but you two need to- Ah! You, robot. What are you waiting for? Take the child and get out! Come on. What about her? Ah! Get out! Come on. There's no saving her. Ah! No! What do we do? We have to take this. What? Memory disk? But... Yeah! This is where we part ways. Nico, the path ahead will lead you to the Glen, right by the city gate. When you're in the city, go find someone named Cedric and give him the disk. What happens if I... What, ha what if the squares... Hurry! They're... they're both. I have no time to lose. Anthony, I don't understand. World... Prophet bought what he was saying. This is world really just... just... Is it? Um, yes, what he was saying made perfect sense to me, just as it would to Nico. Hey, I wouldn't believe it, but it adds up. Everything adds up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. If I can't fix the world, I can't go back home. The world is already so messed up. Squares don't get fixed. What will happen to the world? Where would I even go? Oh. Sure would have been convenient on the first playthrough. I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun. And everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details. None of it matters now, does it? it just got brought back anyway.
true motivations have become clear. Peter wants to save Nico. How do I escape this? Like part of the ground is missing. Or if it's safe to walk across these vines. Find out, I guess. Safe. Well, burying, burying off the location. I have lost communication with the guardian outside the city gate. The big robot, right? Please help me check on them. I cannot leave my station. All right. Uh, not go further than this. Okay, I can't go further than this in this place. The city gate? It's... It's all blocked. Please do not approach. The gate is closed until further notice. Ah. Here he is. How am I supposed to make it to the city? I can take a nap. I'm still continuing, though. I'm still going. I'm finishing this game, man. I have to find someone called Cedric now. That's my next goal. wasn't always broken, was it? I guess that's why communication was lost. So we'll talk to this guy again. Squares all over the big robot. Ah, that is outside my capacity for help. Let me get the cursor off the game. Whoops. You may proceed to the deeper ruins. Alright. I keep doing that. I did it for the entire first part of the game, so I'm sorry about that. I keep forgetting. I need constant reminders for this stuff. This room is barricaded off. Okay. Wasn't before, but alright. The computer clearly just does not care. They want to see Nico, and they do not care about the world. Nico is all that matters. But we, of course, at the player, know that there is more to it. The computer is programmed... Wait. You know to do this now, right? Wait a minute. I remember something about this. I never knew it'd be so easy. <laughs> you look so happy. Ow, my foot. Ow. Oh. Door. They're home eventually, but it happened so soon. Jeez, are you guys okay? My stars, you're the savior. Um, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Yes, I invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is. It's got squares in it. Yes, yeah, Alulo, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Squares. They're way more than before. The gate to the refuge is destroyed now. It didn't happen last time. Last time? Uh, nothing. Let's let this slip, Anthony. I guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh gosh. Would not be rude to call you by name. No worries, Calamus. How did you know my name? I, um, uh, again. I just knows these things, Calamus. Right? Yes, of course. <sighs> ah, you were saying. About the gate. Oh, right. Looks like I can't get into the city through the old gate anymore. Neither of you know another way to get in. I remember... I mean, I heard that there's some sort of secret passage around here somewhere. Oh. Passage to the burial grounds. That's the one. 
Oh, but I'm not sure if it'll be any use here. We have to fly over it. It's been flooded for a long time, and there's no boat. Not to mention, the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. It's okay, I would still like to see it. That's the only weed we have. Alright, in that case, please follow us. Get the burial grounds for our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally, this car courtyard would be where we end up. Hope he comes back soon. No, not it. Nico! Nico, what's wrong? I you were about to faint! It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier, it's in the Barons and I saw something like this too. It's like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess. The prophet lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it, though. Wait. Wait, check something. Aha! Uh -huh. So when I see the fox later again, I'm probably gonna use the journal again, right? Oh, I was right, huh? When I had the vision back of the barons, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if it could happen again, and... Where did you get that? Oh, well, uh, I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books. Except it's glowy! That's what the lady said too. Anthony, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. Yeah, gee, I wonder. Uh-huh, yeah. Whoa! How did that boat get there? Pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. Exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in. And then a minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Anthony must have done something. Still. Hey, we have a boat now. Go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again. But... Come on, Calamus. Anthony are with us. Well, if Anthony made the boat up here, be safe. Hey. Here we go. Good picture. I like that picture. They're great. Just fantastic. I'm so glad that I had the second ending. The fact that there was a second ending spoiled for me. <laughs> Matt, that is not an encouragement. Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. Gravestone. Okay, we can't actually read the gravestone. Gravestones aren't important, guys. This is her grave. Ah, uh, here is, but still hard, you know. But wanna help me look for some flowers from Mom Lee? Yes. I should, I should be walking here, not be disrespectful. But. Came here to get to the city. Where's the city? Must, um. Carefully here. This 
is unexplored territory, so there is the legit reason to walk here, which is that I'm new to this area, so I might miss something if I go too fast. It's you! You, um, that's the author, right? My name is Nico, because that's exactly how I expect him to look. <laughs> ah, nice to finally meet you. Oh, wait. It is a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Cedric, Cedric, I don't know which is which. I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I'm aware. Prototype contacted me earlier, saying you would be on your way to the city. Did? Sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out, that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you! Oh, you mean the flying machine? They're called planes in my world. Oh. I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that Calamus and Alula were talking about then? Is this the same flying machine that they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. The iterations of the father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way. Thanks. But to answer your earlier question, I'm proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this entire island before I crashed into the city wall. He almost crashed? That's terrible. It's not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands on the Glen are really messed up now. They are. <sighs> Yes, we should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh, actually, back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, and a bunch of squares. He and the robot lady, neither of them made it out. Yikes. Yeah. No. He did give me this, though. The disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. All three of us for the big door. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we'd just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? battery in the engine is dead, and the machine has some gears that need to be replaced. Think you'll be able to fix it? If Anthony and I help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. I'll try anyway. You can't really do anything else right now. Um... I still have all this stuff from the Baron's that I never used this time around because I never had to throw them off the boat. I wonder if one of them will be repurposed. How are we going to find batteries and gears? I can't think of anywhere where there would have been batteries and gears. Crowbar. You don't pick this one up. Because, despite looking exactly like the other crowbar, we just don't pick this one up. I guess it's because it's relevant to his work, and that would be stealing. I have a feeling that he knows the whole story about the prototype as well, that considered. Oh, where I can find a battery. Good question. We don't really use electricity in the Glen. Oh, but there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they know where it is. Gotcha, thanks. Okay. Pass number one. Find robots at research station. 